My name is Steve Wagner, the owner of Salus Marineware. Uh, here we make PFDs and life jackets. The company was a basement startup uh, 17 years ago. Started in the basement with, with one sewing machine, and today we have 40 people. Designing PFDs was not a large departure to that of designing shoulder pads and elbow pads in the, in the sporting goods or sewing industry. And uh, leaving the Cooper Bauer Nike, that's where we were designing, um, I saw that there's a need for a more comfortable PFD. A lot of them were very bulky and uncomfortable, and people would put them on grudgingly, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't perform well for them. And uh, we were addressing a lot of the fit, comfort, and utility aspects of what makes a, a good, comfortable PFD. We concentrate on more the constant wear users. In other words, people that buy a Salus are, are buying it to wear. They're either a sailor, a paddler, a kayaker, somebody that really cares about safety and comfort and fit. They're high cut, so when you're sitting down, they're not gonna ride up around your face. Um, the large armholes, you're not, there's no chafing when you're paddling or a lot of arm movement. A lot of our vests have fleece lined hand warmer pockets, reflective. We make products for, for everyone from babies to military. Our SAR vest is worn by all of our local fire departments at Cambridge, Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph Fire Department. It's a 22 pounds of buoyancy. Uh, it'll float two people. Uh, it's a one size fits all. So it doesn't matter who's grabbing it, if it's a 120 pound fireman or a 300 pound fireman, it's a vest that'll fit them. Another exciting venture for us is uh, we're getting into the inflatables. So we're, we've just set up an inflatable line and we're going after some military contracts with that as well. We're the only company in Canada that are still making inherently buoyant vests. Uh, there's a few others that are making suits or inflatables, but Salus is the only one in all of Canada right here in Kitchener-Waterloo. The process of manufacturing, we start with the cutting, laying it out for utilization of the marker. We call it the cutting marker. Uh, typically, we'll cut about 120 ply. From there, the pieces get sorted, go to embroidery, uh, webbing, and buckles are, are done at the tacking machine. Any one vest will probably be touched by about 15 to 20 people before it's completed. Typically, we make about 180 to 250 vests a day. Some of the rewarding sides to making the PFDs and what we do is, is hearing some stories from our customers. A few different incidents telling us how, how we saved their life and uh, that's rewarding and we, we shared that with everyone in the factory and we're charged from hearing those stories and it kind of gives purpose to what we do.